Hello everyone, my name is Rafi Pujasmara and welcome to my channel. This video is made for academic English task and this video is about my hometown, Karanganyar. Uh, because of the pandemic situation, I cannot show you my actual footage of uh, the places in Karanganyar, but instead I will show you uh, video and pictures from Instagram on the internet about Karanganyar and then I will explain it to you uh, so we can still have a virtual tourism from campus oh yes uh, also because I'm alone in my lab I put off my mask so you can see me uh, and hear me more clearly Okay, let's start. Uh, uh, here is the map of Karanganyar. If you can see the red line here. So from Yogyakarta, you can ride eastward to the direction of Solo or Surakarta city. And from Surakarta, you can ride eastward again to the Karanganyar Agency or Karanganyar District. The most of the Karanganyar is located on the east side of Surakarta but there is one sub-district uh, exclave uh, in the west side of Surakarta it's uh, Tolomadu sub-district in Tolomadu sub-district there is one uh, big uh, newly renovated sugar factory from the colonial era from Dutch colonial era called the Tolomadu uh, it is now a convention center and then uh, there is also museum, coffee shop, Anglingan. There are many events held there, festivals, or even David Foster uh, held his concert here uh, some years ago. Here you can uh, see people are celebrating their wedding and then you can also take photos from your pre wed or anything basically if you are into a uh, historical building you can go there in Tolomadu it's it is also the closest uh, tourism spot from the Adisumarmo International Airport in Surakarta uh, and then for the other tourism spot uh, you can go to uh, the two of sub district one is the Ngargoyoso sub district and then one is in the Tawamango sub district you can see here Candi Ceto, Kebun Teh Kemuning, Air Terjun Jumok, Telaga Madirta, Air Terjun, Grojokan Sebu, Bukit Sekipan uh, you will see it in the video I will show you uh, but uh, for the video, I will uh, pause it once a while to uh, give you an explanation about the video more. So let's go to the video. The video is uploaded by the official YouTube of Karanganya Regency and it's uploaded on 2016 called Karanganya Rumbasona or uh, Fascinating Karanganya. To uh, shorten the time, I will, uh, I will make it faster about one 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 point twenty five times speed so let's make it uh full screen and let's watch so this is the gate of Karanganya when you are from Solo you will pass this and my house is actually close to that gate Bersemboyan Tentram You will hear the Bersemboyan Tentram Tentram is the slogan of the Karanganya Regency Tentram means Tenang, teduh, rapi, aman, dan makmur Tenang is calm And teduh is uh, Teduh is shady It's a metaphor for fertile lands And rapi is tidy or clean up And then uh, Aman means safe And then makmur means wealthy Bumi, Intan Pari. You, you will hear Intan Pari a lot 
or C is a law in Karanganyar. Intan Pari is industri, pertanian, dan pariwisata. Industri is industri, uh, pertanian uh, is agriculture, and pariwisata is tourism. So, the development of Karanganyar Regency will be focused on three aspects. That is, there are uh, industry, agriculture, and tourism. Let's keep on watching. Oh, here's a beautiful pictures, video footage from Candi Cetho. In Candi Cetho is uh, one of the temples built in the Ngargoyoso sub-district. And from the main gate of Candi Cetho, you can see a very beautiful sunset. If there is a clear sky and the weather is not misty, you can see a very beautiful sunset from that shandy or temple. Ukiran masa lalu bercerita tentang pengorbanan. And not so far from Candi Cetho, uh, there is another temple called Candi Suku. It's believed to be built by the last king of Majapahit. Correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm not mistaken. And the unique aspect of this temple, Candi Suku, is because the shape is not a typically uh, shape of a temple in Indonesia, in Candi, I mean. Temple is not the typical shape of Candi in Indonesia. Its, it's shape is more like the shape of the pyramids of Central Americans, like Mayans or Aztecs. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like pyramid structures. Kesetiaan dan kerja keras. This is also from Candi Suko. This is from Candi Ceto. Eksotismenya menyatu dengan nuansa mistis. Very beautiful. Dalam isn't it? keagungan pemujaan sang esa. Okay, from Candi Ceto, we'll see earlier, you can go hiking uphill to the peak on the top of Mount Labu, the highest mount in Karangya Regency, and also the border of Central Java and East Java. So, the trekking path from Candi Ceto to Mount Labu is from my perspective is the most beautiful trekking path to the top of the mountain and uh, let's keep going this is a uh, people people call it alaska alaska is abbreviation of alaska red alas is uh forest and karet means rubber because it it is a uh, a uh, rubber tree plantation so go to Alaska in Karanganyar this is uh, I'm sorry I had to pause that this is one of the main attraction in Ngargoyesa sub-district uh, uh, tea plantation uh, in Kemuning it's very good place you can relax there take a photo there there are a lot of shops you can enjoy tea from the local shops it's very relaxing and it's also close to Candi Suku and Candi Ceto so it's a package Curahan keindahan. I've never heard of Parang Ijo Waterfall before, but I guess it's new emerging tourism spot. There are a lot of waterfall in Sekarangaya. Uh, one of them is this. Yeah, this is uh, the waterfall of Jumok, Jumok Waterfall. It's located also in the sub-district of Ngargoyoso. So you can have Kemuning, you can have Candi Ceto, you can have Candi Suko, and this you, you can have Jumok waterfall in a relatively closed area. 
It's very beautiful. And then also this small lake. Uh, Talaga means small lake, and the name is Talaga Madirda. It's also in the Ngarboyoso sub district. Even small, it's still relaxing. Just hope there are no uh, much, there are not much, not much tourists come there because it will be very packed up. But if you can see it, that's a very clean uh, small lake and very clean tourism spot to visit. Tempat para bidadari bersenandung. Relaxing and having a cold weather. It will refresh your body. Also, now this one. This is the most famous uh, waterfall in Solo Raya region. So, this is called Krojokan Sewu. Why is called Krojokan Sewu? You can see the picture is only one waterfall there. But if you coming in, the, if you if you come in the rainy season, you will see oh water coming out of that hill. So the from the surrounding hill of this waterfall, the water will come out because of the rainy season. The water flourish, so it will make a thousand waterfalls so hence it get names uh krojokan sewu or sewu sewu means thousand waterfall from the hell there you will see water like a thousand waterfall comes out in the rainy season and the other thing here is Astana Giri Bangun. Well, in Surakarta, there, is, there are two palaces. One is Kasunan Palace, and the second one is Mangkulagaran Palace. The king and his royal family from uh, Kasunan Palace, if they die, they will be buried in Imogiri, Yogyakarta, just like the sultans of Yogyakarta and his royal families. But the prince or king in Mangkulagaran, uh, and his royal family will be buried in uh, uh, Astana Giri Bangun if they did, if they are dead. Uh, Astana Giri Bangun is also a mausoleum of the second uh, president of Indonesia, Soeharto. You can see this picture in the screen. And this is Monumentary Dharma. I don't know where it's located. Sorry, and this is the Cita infamous rasa, tea house penikmatan. of Dorodongkar in Kemuning, rumah teh, rumah teh Dorodongkar. This is Kemuning view. Di sini this is the central hari. city view, I guess. This is Karanya view in the Sunday they held CF day before the pandemic, back before the pandemic. And this Di sini, is uh, Kampung Halloween. Uh, this is that Kampung Halloween is located in Skipan. Skipan is located in Taung Mangu. Oh, so I have to info I had to inform you that aside from Ngargoyoso sub district, there are one main sub district uh, that have a tourism a spots that already well developed. That is uh, Taung Mangu sub district. In Taung Mangu sub district, you can see Kerajaan Sewu. You can see Skipan. The market there is big also and then uh, you can see this this uh, Cemorokanang is the starting point of another track to go hiking to the top of Mount Lawu and, and from my friend's uh, experience he told me that Cemorokanang is the easiest uh, path to go to the top of Mount Lawu as you can see the, hike, uh, the hikers are going uh, on this uh, track from Tumorong Andang and this, this, this is the view from Tumorong Andang facing south this is the border of Central Java on the right and East Java on the left very beautiful isn't it? 
And this is Stefan Camp. I have told you before in Tawangmangu Sub District. I went there with my uh, junior high school classmates for uh, farewell party and graduation party. It is now uh, a lot of better than uh, before. You can see in the video. That's very beautiful, very calm. And then there are new attraction uh, building like this. That uh, very very Pariwisata adalah sebuah industri baru yang harus dimaksimalkan potensinya karena si that man is the major of the Karanganyar Regency. He said that tourism is the new industry that had to be uh, uh, maximized. Iring dengan kesejahteraan masyarakat, wisata menjadi bagian dari gaya hidup. Because uh, because of the people's wealth, uh, now tourism is becoming a lifestyle. So come visit Karanganyar. There are a lot of place to be visited and I guarantee that you will be satisfied to visit Karanganya and feel relaxed uh, but I don't want to make this video for too long and it's already too long but before I close my video I will show you uh, two other uh, tourism spots in Karanganya because this is uploaded this video is uploaded in 2016 and now it's 2021 it's five years ago there is new uh, spot in Taomang called Sakura Hills it's a little Japan Japanese park water onsen park Sakura park and etc you can see in the uh, their Instagram page uh, there are building like uh, Japanese building and also you can see uh, more in the in their Instagram page and the other one is Ruma Atsiri if you are interested in non-wood forest product Ruma Atsiri will be a very good place to come uh, so Ruma Atsiri means essential oil house it's open every day uh, and you can you can shop there and you can have a glamping it's very interesting place. You can see glamping and then class. You see in the uh, uh, Instagram page, you can go to the website if you want to have uh, information, more information. You can buy their products like this. And then you can have a glamping, uh, glamour camping. Also, you can join in, in their class. It's very interesting if you are interested in uh, non wood forest product, essential oils. And the good news is this is also located in Taomangu. So, visit Karanganya. The main tourism spot is in the Cholomadu, in the Ngarguesa sub district, and the Taomangu sub district. Okay, well, I think that's all for my explanation about uh, my hometown I realized that it is not uh, enough but I have to end it my I have to end my video so don't forget to visit Karanganya I will be happy to show you or accompany you to the spots uh, interesting spots in Karanganya so see you in the next video uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.